The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the uh, December 16th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us. Not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, this show is all about you. That's right. Give us a call at 877-927-6648. We can take a look at whatever instrument it is, whatever time frame. I'm here to help you out. So let's use this 60 minutes as best as we can. Of course, uh, you can always send me an email, steve at tfn.com. Inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, we'll, we'll take any and every ping. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magnificent, Marvelous, Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got the Dow trading up 177 points. She's trading out at 28,313 and has cleared the key level of 28,174.97. That was the high of November. Once you clear that high, well, it says that markets could or should run higher. We've got that favorable seasonal cycle that should last through about the first or second week of January out there. So uh, markets should continue to move higher. you got the S&P up 28 points. That's about 1%. The NASDAQ 100 up 92. Russell's up uh, 19. Semis are up 31. That's nearly 2% to the upside. They're the leader in the clubhouse to the upside. Indice wise spot volatility is well below the 50-day exponential moving average. She's trading out at the uh, 1183 area out there. Gold's up two bucks. Silver is up uh, eight cents. Lights we crude up 18 pennies. Natural gas up six cents. That's a three percent move. So a nice move there. Bonds are off a full point plus trading out 156 and 29 30 seconds. Lead the charge dollar wise to the upside. Stock wise, it's Axum Therapeutics up 35 bucks or 75. No charts. I've got the charts up here. So it must be the guys in the uh, production room. Tarpon two. Uh, let's knock on their door. Hello. Production department, please get those charts posted. Please get those charts posted. I'm sure they're listening right now and getting it done. And it's really a bummer that you can't follow along with my chart. So I'll kind of stall here as best that I can while we get those things posted. You've got uh, Tesla's up 22 bucks. Uh, Booking Holdings is up $22. Humana's up 14. That's about 4%. Google's up 12. Avgo, which is Broadcom, that's up 12. That's about 4% to the downside. They're not here in the knock. Production room, please, please get the charts up. <clears throat> You've got Wave Life Sciences. That's off 20 bucks or 54%. Yikes. Uh, Beijing, I don't think that's it. It's uh, Beige. NE Limited. I don't know why I pronounce that, but uh, it's off 16 bucks or nearly 10 percent. Boeing is off 13, trading out at 328. And IFF International Flavors and Fragrances off 12 bucks or 9 percent. I think it's buyout that is uh, going on there. Well, no charts, even though they're here, you can't see them, and I can't get the production room to hear me. Maybe if I just make a quick, we got four minutes here. Um, I'm going to make a phone call. I think that's what I've got to do out here. I'll call as if. Nine two seven six six four eight. As if I am a, uh, as if I'm a listener. Let's get them to get these charts posted out here. <clears throat> so just bear with me. Bear with me just for a minute. Just for a minute out here. Just for a minute. Oh Lord, no answer. They must be busy behind the scenes. 
Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Wow. Wow. Well, folks, I'm just going to, uh, we're just going to use this three and a half minutes here and just uh, hope that we get those charts posted. So let me just kind of run through this and just use your imagination as best as you humanly can. So here's what we know. Posting now. Oh, great, great. Thank you. Okay. So the first chart I guess that we'll take a look at out here is going to be, and as soon as they get uh, posted out here, is going to be the four equity futures contracts, those four contracts being the ES, the NQ, the YM, and the RTY. As soon as those charts get posted, what you're going to see is that uh, Price above all resistance levels, all resistance levels being their TAS market profile. So, Jay, inside the uh, Tiger's Den, uh, there are no new profiles for any of the, no new. When I say no new, I'm really referring to daily and weekly time frames. Obviously, for shorter term, uh, that's not the case. But at this stage here, you can see the price has cleared their key levels of resistance. So let's keep going. I'd mentioned that the uh, Dow was up above above the November high. Uh, today's the first time that we're seeing what looks like a close above that area. That was a 28, 174, 97. You see the other three uh, cash indice charts out here, uh, each showing these are monthly charts. And uh, once you clear the prior month's high out there, uh, pretty much a, a bullish uh, situation and certainly bullish here because of that favorable seasonal cycle that we are in. If we take a look at what's going on, just generally speaking, with regard to the New York Stock Exchange, here's what we're going to see. Uh, looks like it's at a new all-time high. It's moving higher. Uh, which is a, a positive thing, and its advanced decline oscillator reading right now is in the 110 area. The level that we're going to be watching, should it get up there, is going to be that plus 150. What we want to do is uh, pay attention to that plus 150 area. That's where you can see a, um, um, a failure. Now, the failure means it could turn right back down, and then we would eventually see prices at least begin to retrace out here. If you look in the center portion of my chart out here, for example, back around February 26, it's where the crosshairs is. You'll see a plus 150 failure. That's the center panel. Then look above, and you'll see how that identified a short-term top inside the New York Stock Exchange. The next time was back on the trading day of March the 9th. Again, a plus 150 failure. You get to the trading session of uh, April the 6th, 17th, 17th, which way? Come on, work with me, cursor. 17th, you get a plus 150 failure. So you see a series, you get another one out here on the trading day. Now, never got up to exactly 150, got really close. That was on July the 9th. So the real key here is watching this plus 150. Now, when you get above, close above the 150 level out there, it's a, it, what it does is it, it's not a guarantee, but it is uh, as close as we can get to a uh, an indication to us that we're going to see higher prices. Now, how I've learned to uh, to use that from an interpretation standpoint is eventually we're going to see higher price. But it's a positive thing when that advanced decline oscillator reading gets above the plus 150. New York Stock Exchange is not there. We got the spot volatility index below its 50 day exponential moving average here. Let's uh, zoom in on that. We can take a look at that. The 50 day is at 1399. Spot volatility index trading out at 1186. You can see in the lower left hand panel that uh, price is down at the lower Bollinger Band reading. Now, that's where market hot tops can and will form. It's just they don't do it right to the day, right to the time period out here. So you've got a market that shows plenty of liquidity right now just right now at 1:14 in the afternoon 115 in the afternoon could be a different thing but i don't think so steve rose with tea up and If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's up 164. S&P is up uh, 27. Let's go to uh, some questions that have uh, rolled in here. Thanks so much for sending in these requests always appreciated ticker symbol that we're going to look at is akba i don't recall looking at this but uh, we are going to now akba is akiba therapeutics and the question is wonder what uh, you'll make of the uh, of a long here uh wonder if it found support at a, a taz market profile so here's what we know we take a look at uh kiba akibia Akibia Therapeutics, and it is trading above all TAS market profiles out there, Phil. The daily, the last daily was at 520, the last weekly was at 485, and the last monthly, which was uh, formed this month, is 566. So the signals here on Akiba Therapeutics and uh, are looking very bullish, at least with price being above resistance. Now, as we go take a look at the daily time frame chart, let's go try to figure out what patterns it has or where it may be headed to. And you can see that today, is the beginning of a, a potential Rhodes momentum indicator topping signal when this last formed a decent bottom out here with that same pattern was back on August the 7th when it generated a bull sash candle out here. So price is well above support, support here, some type of change in trend. You need to see at least a close below Stevie's uh, green line. That's priced at 620 out here. If we do just simply a, a quick wave count to the upside, the wave count to the upside is going to get us into wave number three. So no problems here that we see, except that price is moving higher, doing less relative energy. If you were to see a bearish reversal candle, that could uh, spell problems for it, or it just may simply ignore the pattern, meaning that price may eventually find some strength before the bears decide to show up and then it would be a bear trap that's what the daily time frame chart is showing let's uh, take a look at the weekly the weekly i can see a, a price projection well that price projection target is 780 now on the weekly chart this did form the roads momentum indicator bottom pattern did that with the bullish engulfing so a nice bottom here you're going to be in what appears to be week five 
of a, a TD set of nine count. It looks like prices headed to the 780 level. That was AKBA is the ticker symbol. Let's quickly take a look at the monthly time frame, see what we have over here. But here's what we know so far. It looks like a nice bottom in Akiba Therapeutics. And on the monthly time frame, I don't have anything out here to uh, speak of to assist us with where this is headed to. So we'll just simply pull back to the, uh, the monthly. The beauty about that is price is above the top of its monthly profile. So, Phil, looks to me like a uh, looks like to me like a uh, 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 this wants to continue to move higher. Just be cautious of that Rhodes momentum indicator signal on that daily time frame chart out there. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Lee. Lee writes in and says, uh, "Greeting all your charts." here in St. Pete. Thanks. Okay. Just let me know that you're seeing the charts. That's great. Thanks so much for writing in, Lee, and letting me know. So there, is there a question here? S&P being sucked into January 18th, uh, Marty Armstrong's economic confidence model time period. Uh, it's certainly a possibility, uh, John. Um, the indices moving into that time frame, is that going to be the time frame or not? Here's what I know. Here's what you know. Here's what you should know. Let me just do this. And that is that uh, when we do see a top, we're likely to see one of Stevie's patterns out there. If we take a look at the Dow specifically and uh, inside the uh, Dow, give me uh, uno momento, por favor. Where did I, here's the daily time frame chart. Here's what we're looking for. If we take a look at 2019 out there, uh, you're going to see, let me just kind of move this uh, down here a bit. What you're going to see, and it really begins with 2018, you're going to see those roads, momentum. This is the daily time frame chart, those roads, momentum indicator signals identifying that top back in uh, 2018 running down to the a to b equals cd pattern that completed into the lows of uh, december 26 in uh, 2018 we can also see a nice counter trend rally uh, formed here by that roads momentum indicator bottom you can see that price then off that uh, january uh, december 26 low makes a roads momentum indicator top back here in april makes a nice roads momentum indicator bottom in may makes another top in july makes another bottom in august and now where are we at well we actually we had a nice roads momentum indicator top out here in uh, november and that led to a bottom or a test of support out there that test of support was the td9 test of support let me go ahead and populate that on the chart here in a moment for you can i do that i know i can i don't know why it's not popping up on my screen there we go so let me just add that tool we'll see the td9 count out there and um so here uh, that will get applied and uh, we'll see that price here Formed a nice top, and then what price did was just simply came down and found support. That was at 27,401 out there. So we want to pay attention even with today's move. You've got price movement higher, doing with less relative energy. Today is going to be bar number seven. So, John, I'm going to answer your question like this. I don't know what the actual date is going to be, if there's going to be a high, whether it's going to be January 18th or not. What I do know, what you do know out here, is that we've got these uh, markets moving higher. Give me a second here to uh, move to a different uh, area of my charts. Where did I put that? Oh, that's right here. It's right in front of me. Hello, Stevo. It looks like this. And this is uh, utilizing Stevie's market analyzer tools out here with inside the program to help you and I understand, hey, what are these uh, indices, cash indices and sectors in the S&P 500 and futures contracts? What are they doing? for their daily, their weekly, and their monthly time frame. And do any of them have some of Stevie's patterns out there? And when you see him, you're going to see patterns galore all over the place. So, John, if we get a topping signal tomorrow on the 16th, I'll take it. If it's the 17th, I'll take it. If it's the 26th, I'll take it. We just need to wait for the markets to communicate to us when and if there's going to be some type of market top. But this is a dangerous thing. So you ask that question, moving into a economic confidence model turn date, if we're looking for signals, we should see them. The monthly charts here, take a look at all those monthly signals, topping patterns and signals. Take a look at all those daily amongst the cash indices. Take a look at their weekly TD setup counts out there. Here, this is showing us support and resistance levels out there. Um, it's got basically everything that uh, that we need right here. So I think we just simply, the best advice I can give to anybody that's looking for a top or a bottom is just simply wait for the pattern 
to actually uh, complete out here. Uh, so that's how I would play it. I hope that that answers your question. Uh, if it was a question, if it wasn't, well, then sorry for just picking up the ball and running with it out there. So I'd love to hear from you folks. Give me a call at 877. My goodness, we have a caller on the line. It's Ron in Denver. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Do we have Ron? It's called Care DX. It's CDNA. Charles David, Nancy Apple. Got it. They're in uh, kidney dial kidney and heart diagnostics for you know see if it matches. But it seems to be improving the last couple of weeks, and I just wondered if. Is this uh, worthwhile to be involved with? And this looks like it's uh, about $45 a few months back, six months ago or so. Yeah, it really had a big gap to the downside back on November the 11th. Huge volume for this uh, stock was 3.5 million shares. And uh, so a nice gap to the uh, downside. Uh, uh, can you hold on through the break? Uh, do you, uh, what are you looking to do, go long here? Yes, I wanted to buy some long-term calls. Okay, so uh, when we get back from this break, we're going to go take a look at Caradex Inc., ticker symbol CDNA, with Ron in Denver, Colorado. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals to have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's up 161. Uh, S&P is up uh, 27 points. We're on the line with Ron in Denver, Colorado, and we're taking a look at uh, ticker symbol CD and a Caradix Inc. out there. So, Ron, what I want to do, so first let's just take a look at the market profiles out here just so we can identify some levels of support and resistance. Uh, on the daily basis, you're above support. No new market profiles out there. But on the weekly, it says uh, 2292 could be an area of resistance out there. Uh, so in your trading at 22. 34. Now, the dailies or the monthly, I say, uh, it says there may be support at 1823. Hasn't been tested yet. Now, let's start from the monthly time frame out here. So I'm going to start longer term because you had mentioned you wanted to put on a long term trade on this. Um, monthly chart may not be what you were thinking, but we want to understand the patterns out here for this uh, tick equity uh, for its uh, longer term or monthly time frame. Now, when this bottomed way back in the uh, April, Time frame. Uh, let me see here. When was, when was this? April of 2017 out there. It did it with a TD nine count bottom. Beautiful thing. Bar number eight or of the monthly chart was the uh, low. Price moved higher until it generated two of our topping signals. One of those being wave number seven or letter G. And the second one being the Rhodes momentum indicator. Row, uh, price moving higher to unless relative energy creates a bearish reversal candle. Now, during that month, that month was July when it formed that uh, top out there. Price came back and tested support. That was Stevie's green line. And then we saw a close below that the following month. Now, in this case here, price could actually be pulling back towards the 551 level. This is going to be what looks like month number five or bar number five of a TD setup nine count to the downside. So it says to be cautious out here. But what's nice is that this top here was identified utilizing the patterns that you and I lose, uh, use all the time to call the markets out here. So longer term, longer term, this thing hasn't really necessarily bottomed. Uh, hasn't really necessarily bottomed. Maybe a little more conviction would be helpful. It hasn't bottomed. Let's just let's just let's just be clear about it from a monthly time frame. Now, you and I would feel a little bit better if we could at least see price test 1823. That is the top of that monthly profile, because if price gets inside that profile, then what we're looking at is 1404 to 1195. Now, that's the longer term. There could be a shorter term trade. Um, well, wait a minute. You said 1823. It's right now 2234. Yeah, I'm saying that uh, 1823 is a level you want to see it pull back to and test. At I least. See. Okay. That's the monthly top of that profile out there. So price is above the profile, which can be uh, or sh you know, can be bullish. But I'd really rather, knowing that it's got the topping patterns out there, I'd really like to see that level of support tested, 1823. Now, I'd okay. really like to see that level tested because we look at the weekly chart, we know there's resistance at 2292. That's the top of the weekly profile. And now what we also know is price is running right into Stevie's red line. It's just okay. slightly above it. But it's not like well above that area. So this could be a period of time. This might this is suggesting that maybe this week what we would see out here is some type of pullback. So if the weekly says there might be some type of pullback, what's the daily time frame chart? Well, you had already explored or mentioned the big gap to the downside out here. Now when we take a look at the daily time frame chart, it tells us that today is going to be bar number eight of a TD setup nine count. What you and I know is that a market can top or bottom with bar number eight, nine, or the bar following nine. So if this is going to form some type of top using that uh, tool out there, that would be either today, tomorrow, or Wednesday. So this would say if I were you, I'd be waiting for Thursday, at least for any kind of potential trade out there in CDNA. But at this stage, it almost it, it appears that um, it looks like there's more downside work to be done. Okay, great. Wait to, well, thank you. you know, yeah. yeah, wait wait to see how this week plays out before you do anything out here. If okay. these patterns don't identify some type of a top, then let's come back and take a look at it. But I'm really concerned about the monthly time frame. Okay, thank you. Appreciate you your bet. reviews. Thank you, sir. You, you bet. Have a great day. That was Ron in uh, Denver, Colorado. And folks, I'd love to hear from you, too. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. If you can't, give us a call at 877-927-6648. I see another question in here. This one coming in from MH. It's Mike in Merrimack, New Hampshire. Mike wants to take a look at uh, Celine Dion out here. That is ticker symbol C-L-N-E. So let's go take a look at uh, it. Let me get that uh, populated on my other charting system as well. Let's read Mike's question out here. Do your tools show an RMA nine count 
um, and a bullish reversal candle bottom on December the 5th on the uh, daily chart. Well, let's go take a look at that. So uh, very specifically, uh, the date was uh, December the 5th. Let's get our cross here. Let's go to December 5th out. Well, the, uh, yeah, December the 5th was the uh, bar number nine, slightly lower low. Uh, also with uh, price moving lower, doing less relative energy on December the 6th. That qualifies as a TD9 count. You also had the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. In the very next trading session, price clears Stevie's red line. Now, all that looks good. Let me finish reading the question. Considering going long, perhaps for a short to intermediate term trade, short to intermediate term time frame, I believe, is what you are looking at. So now is the time to not go long. I know you didn't want to hear that. Price today got up to $2.02, or so it appears to be about $2.02. 202 happens to be the last breakdown area. So if this is only a counter trend rally, and we don't know, it's got bottoming patterns. Remember, when we find a bottoming pattern, the role then of buyers is to push price up to resistance. And so for you and I, we have to identify where are those resistance levels. Well, we can use our TAS market profiles. In this case, here, price above the top of that profile. What's the next resistance level out there? So we can use our oscillator and change line, our TAS market profiles, and our TD nine count breakdown and breakout levels out here. Well, this has made its way back to the breakdown level, 202. Now, it's going to be in bar number seven of a TD setup nine count. If, in fact, Mike, you see a close above 202, and the preference would be two closes above 202, well, then this could go ahead and continue and extend that rally up until, let's say, the $2.34. That's what the daily time frame chart here shows. But it does show that, you know, I'd ask this question, I'd leave it up to you. Will you buy something that is sitting at resistance? I can understand entering the trade when it's broken through resistance, but as it's right sitting right at resistance, is that the time to take a long position? Now, when we come over here and take a look at uh, Celine Dion. It's actually clean energy fuels out here. We can also see that on a weekly basis, price is sitting where? Right at resistance. Happens to be Stevie's red line out there. Why it can act as support or resistance? I don't know. I just know that it does, and that's all that we really need to know out here. And so in this case here, Mike, this is saying, mm, not so fast. Be careful. Look, if price can clear that daily resistance level and then the weekly resistance level, hey, that's a beautiful thing. And that would say that you've got a uh, change in trend or may have a change in trend underway, which is why you're taking a look at ticker symbol CLNE. On the monthly time frame out here, what do we have from a pattern standpoint? Well, you've got a nice valid bottom. Uh, that took place back in uh, March of uh, 2018 as price was moving lower, doing less relative energy. Of course, since that bottom, we haven't really seen a whole heck of a lot. You did see price rally up to about the $4 area. So, you know, about 100% move above where we're at right now. But um, uh, so the monthly's not really, uh, you know, floating my skirt, so to speak, out here. So here's the deal. Let me just be very specific. It has nice bottom out here. But that bottom is up at resistance right now in the daily and the weekly, and you don't want to touch it. Not just yet. Wait for those resistance levels to clear or wait to buy a pullback. Maybe at around a buck eighty nine. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, we're going to go out to Chile. I do mean Chile. Overland Park, Kansas. 24 degrees. A humidity level right now. Well above the humidity level of where I'm sitting in Delray Beach. It's 80 degrees outside. I got the water on my uh, back door and my front door out here. But, uh, Robert, thanks for calling in. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Thanks for rubbing it in, Steve. Don't. <laughs> my kids, I was missing school today. They're outside building a snowman. But you, yeah, oh, you, you surmised great. correctly. It is it is frigid. It is frigid, and that's why I'm calling about natural gas. Okay. And my apologies. I haven't. I didn't listen to the first part of your show. So if you've already covered that, I can ask something else and listen to nope. your replay later nope. on. No, nope. it's all about natural. It's all about you. It's all about natural gas. And if you take the time to call, and even if we have looked at it, we'll look at it again. But we haven't. But so, what are you considering doing here with natural gas? Uh, a long position. I've been watching it, you know, trend down since, you know, uh, early November, and I'm considering a long position. And I just wondered what it would need to do in order for you to feel like it's made a a bottom, or does the tools that you use don't just doesn't see a bottom here? So I, I trade I trade differently than you, but I'm a subscriber. But I like the way that you trade because I think if two people can reach the same conclusion using different tools, it's a that's a good result. Okay, sure, I, I agree. I agree with that, and and thank you, and thank you. And so you know that from the newsletter perspective, we've taken a look at natural gas. We want to get back in, but because I use a very structured system for entering a trade. Uh, we were looking at that A to B equals CD pattern. And, uh, you know, we sort of got a little bummed out when price gapped to the downside, that little falling window out there. And what we've been waiting for to confirm the A to B equals CD pattern that we've drawn out here is some type of bullish reversal candle. Well, it turns out that today may be that candle. It doesn't necessarily have to form right there at the bottom. Today uh, could be a bullish engulfing candle. And if we do get a bullish engulfing candle, then what this says, and if price can close above Stevie's red line, you know, that's a real critical level. And right now it's trading just above that area. Then that would be your signal that an A to B equals CD pattern has completed inside of natural gas. So you need those two things to occur. A price above, a close above Stevie's red line. Right now that reads at 2.352. It's trade at 2.361. And then that would say... 
to both you and I that this has a valid bottoming pattern out there. Now, uh, what we have to do is go figure out where is resistance. Well, on this daily time frame chart out here, I don't have a resistance level to rely upon. And if price is able to close above Stevie's red line, then we've got to go take a look at something else. That something else would be our task market profiles. Now, there is no new daily or weekly task market profile, so we have to use the old ones, the old ones that did not act as support. It's very possible, Robert, that old support could become resistance. So if you do step into this trade, just recognize that uh, as natural gas gets up to $2.42, that's the bottom of its daily profile, or $2.48, that's the bottom of its weekly profile, that's where you may find resistance. We don't know whether it will hold as resistance or not. You would have the valid bottoming, you could have the valid bottoming signal today, and I would see those would be the areas where you would be careful as price got up there. If price could close above those areas, well, then what you're looking at is uh, price moving to the center or the tops of those profiles. But right now today would be that um, you're getting that signal as we speak that the natural gas may have bottomed, or at least up into those resistance areas. Okay. So then it wouldn't, you would like to see follow through to have more certainty. So maybe not just executing the trade today, but seeing what it does tomorrow for the, because the follow through is really important, correct? It is. Or it, it is. Um, and, and as you know, we've taken a look at the last several uh, days here, um, you know, looking for some type of bullish reversal candle. It appears right now. I don't know how it's going to close today, but yeah, you would you would like to see additional follow through. The only problem with that for you that you've got to deal with here is knowing that you've got resistance that's kind of so close overhead. So if your instinct were to take a, a trade, maybe you would take a smaller portion of it. And then if uh, if you get that follow through an additional move to the upside, you would add to a winning trade out there. Um, you know, that would be one way or just simply wait for that follow through or at least wait towards the end of the day out here. But that's what I see when I take a look at the natural gas contract. If I go to, let's say, a 20 minute time frame out here, give me a sec, if you would, just to put this into my other chart and populate that time frame. And let's see what we have. We can see the spike up from earlier today. Um, I don't show, well, let me just make sure about this. I don't show any real topping signal. I take that back. Uh, so here's the deal. So on the 120-minute time frame, um, from the low that formed out here back at about um, December the, I don't know, December 6th or so, right around that, December the 8th, uh, the last 120 minute bar that completed at noon is now in wave number seven, letter G. So this almost suggests that you could see a bit of a retracement here. Um, wow. Okay, you answered the question for me. Yes, wait for follow through. Wait for a confirmation. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for taking my call. Yeah, what other time frames do you use then? So, you know, will you go down and take a look at a shorter term time frame, an intraday time frame? Are you looking at the futures contracts or just really studying the UNG itself? I, I don't. Well, I, I, I know that you look at the futures contracts. I, yes. Uh, I use the uh, daily as my okay. shortest time frame. Um, yeah. I typically don't trade natural gas. I trade things that are longer in nature, like the treasuries or something else, instruments that are longer. Um, and I usually prefer to look like a, at a, a weekly chart. I don't like getting bogged down in all the noise. Yeah. So do, what do your charts, Robert, what do, your, what do your charts tell you? So you use some other patterns. What have they told you about natural gas? Are they signaling Today, a it, buy? It's, uh, I have color-coded lines uh, that show me trends. And today, it's gone from red to green. So I usually like, like you said, like I get burned sometimes when I don't wait for thought follow through. Yeah. Um, well, if you were looking for synergy between the two of us, it sounds like it's there. And now you just wait for the follow through before you pull that trigger. Right. Right. Cool. Well, perfect. Hey, uh, look, stay warm uh, if you can or uh, bring the kids down to uh, Florida. And instead of making snow castles, they can make sand castles. That sounds good. Thank you, Steve. You bet. Have a great day. That was Robert in uh, Kansas. And uh, let's go to our next question. Next question uh, is from Justin. And no, I take, uh, you know what, Justin, before we go to your question, there was another question that came in from John in the Tiger's Den. He wanted to take a look at silver. And I believe the question was something along the lines, is silver 
poised to just simply uh, break out. Something along those lines out here. So, John, here's the uh, daily. Well, here's the silver contract. Uh, it's Stevie's synthetic contract since we had the uh, rollover not too long ago. And I wanted to be able to give you the uh, longer term market profile levels out here. So when we take a look at uh, silver, here's what we know. Price is running up into resistance on a daily basis. 1716, it's trading at 1710. If this is poised to take off, then price is going to be able to clear that resistance level. It hasn't just yet. If it does, though, what it would do is send a nice message to the weekly chart, the one over to the right in the upper right hand corner, which has a bullish structured profile which would say if price can clear resistance on the daily well then on the weekly since it's a bullish structured box price ought to make its way up to 1805 if it makes its way to 1805 well then you might get a double resistance boom we'll take a look at this when we get back from the break steve rhodes with tfnn Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's finish off silver, and then we'll go right to gold for Justin out here. We'll try to tie all this together. So, John, uh, what we know is you've got resistance in silver at the top of its uh, daily profile, 1716. If this is going to jettison itself to the upside, you're going to see a close above that. Again, that would bleed into the weekly, which could take you up to the 1805 area, the top of its box out there. Uh, the struggle on the monthly chart, not too shabby. Price is pulled back to the top of its profile that formed in November. That could be support, 1672. So, 
the theory, I get the theory out there, and you're just going to need to see price break above resistance. 1881 is the resistance level for its quarterly profile out there. So the next question came in about uh, gold. So if we take a look at gold, we'll do just really the same thing out here. Uh, let me just change the uh, contract. And Justin was looking for, see if there's something very specific. Uh, can you talk about gold and which way you believe it's headed in the short term, one month and long term? Uh, so here's what we know about uh, gold sitting right now at resistance. It's been unable to bust out really above its daily top of its box at the 1481 level trading in between. It's a weekly profile. There could be a counter trend rally up to 1497. I wouldn't uh, count that out. So, uh, Justin, if you're looking for a short term, where could gold head to uh, if it clears, if it closes above 1481.50, 1497.90. Would you entertain a trade there? I wouldn't entertain a trade there. But if it does do that, and if it were to clear 1497, well, then you could make a run all the way up to the 1545 level. But right now, you've got resistance inside of Goldilocks, 1481.50 and 1497.90. You asked me where I believe it's headed to in the short term and long term. In the short term, I'm totally open to a counter trend rally. In the long term, Goldilocks is headed south for the winter. And maybe next spring, and maybe next summer, and maybe next fall, and maybe next winter. Gold is looking awfully chilly. Again, there may be a counter trend rally to the upside. And then Goldilocks is coming down here to spend time with Stevie in Delray Beach to just take a nice little relaxed visit on the beach, play in the sand, or it could be maybe about one year's time. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. David White's up next. Tom O'Brien to take us from three to four, and I'll be back with you tomorrow at one o'clock. Have a magical month.